My twin brother, his name is Cole, and he has cerebral palsy, and it very um, specifically affects his hands and their mobility. And so I have always felt like such uh, warmth and empowerment when like I hold his hand or when he like comes to comfort me or in moments when we're just interacting with each other. And I have often been told by my mom because of my brother that hands are so magical, they're wonderful and that you can hold someone's hand, but you can also impact someone's life by hurting them. And so that was my inspiration in the piece that I am currently creating. Right now I'm currently completing a capstone project. So there was a playwriting grant here at WVU and I was lucky enough to be awarded with it. So for my capstone, I'm creating a shadow puppetry show that um, has no words and no dialogue in collaboration with West Virginia Public Theater. Mary McClung, our director, highly encouraged me to just go for gold and do it. And so one night I just sat down and I was like, okay, let's write a show. Let's write a show, see what happens and see what we wanna do. Puppetry is everywhere and it's a vast field and it's not only for children. And the beauty of our program in particular is that it formulates you as an artist so you can work with all populations. So while I personally focus more with children just because of my majors, there is so much opportunity to build and create. It is a very cultural phenomenon. It is something that is important worldwide. The puppetry program is divided into two different tracks. So you can do a more theater tech and design with an emphasis in puppetry track or a performance track. So the individuals who take the track of theater tech and design, they learn how to build these puppets. And so they primarily focus on the technical aspect of building and creating, whereas the performance majors, such as myself, we do more acting, voice, movement. However, both sides learn each other's crafts. So this lovely, lovely fellow is a live hand puppet, which means my hand is here. <laughs> and so we are able to express a lot with our hands, wave, read things, interact with the environment. That is the beauty of live hand puppetry. If you think about Cookie Monster, Cookie Monster is a live hand puppet. So he grabs his cookies and he's like, no, 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 right? <laughs> Um, this one is made very similarly to that of the hand rod puppet. Um, the whole entire base is all made the same. However, when we go to make the hands, we simply create fabric cutouts of said hand and then stitch it together so that we're able to utilize it. Because I was not focused in puppetry performance, I mainly did uh, my production practicums, which are the assignments that we have for the live main stage shows that we do at West Virginia. Are, a lot of the um, assignments were to create the things for the shows, do fittings with actors, um, work with directors, work with um, other people in the school uh, to create a physical, tangible thing that will be on stage or that somebody will be handling. I loved sculpting. I love water-based clay. It's so much fun. I love to learn how to cast the plaster, pouring in neoprene, which is an industrial latex to make um, rod puppets that we use for certain shows. So Jacob is in the puppet lab right now sculpting with water-based clay and then those will be made into neoprene. I had a whole five-year plan that got, you know, thrown out the window because of Corona, but that's okay because it's taught me nothing is permanent, like I've said. COVID has definitely impacted my studies. A lot of our work is fully hands-on, fully immersive. It's conversation-based, it's interaction-based. It is all about communication and physically being in a space with somebody else. It's very hard to act or perform, build, create, um, argue, engage. There's so many facets of theater that we explore within our studies that involve human connection and dialogue exchange. I've learned a lot about how to make the most out of the resources that I have and make the most out of the connections that I have. So I, for instance, one of our MFA graduate students, Jacob Currents, he mans the puppet shop and he has been instrumental in assisting me from late night phone calls to showing our professors over Zoom meetings what we're building and creating. Being able to still build a community of artists and creators amidst a pandemic 
is definitely a skill that will help further my own career and my own goals as I continue to make new kinds of connections for as long as COVID lasts. Outside of our core curriculum, the puppetry majors often participate in taking the puppet mobile and it tours school to school around the state and we put on puppet performances and teach children about puppetry, about how we create our works, and usually they're informative educational lessons. And that happens when we don't have COVID quite often. We just filmed a PSA for COVID safety, and I was fortunate enough to both puppeteer and voice act for it, which was such a blast. I was a little bit worried that I wouldn't be able to perform again my, for my senior year. However, thanks to the art of social distancing and puppets being able to be done anywhere, it's the beauty of puppetry, we were able to create this PSA that we have shared throughout the state. It was on the local state news, which was pretty exciting. It is a great way to communicate and to get an idea through to a kid who is very shy or who has developmental disabilities or learning disabilities and adults who have learning disabilities or who are just want to talk to a puppet. It's cool. It's a cool thing to do. And it has that, you know, that what is this feel where it's so bizarre and it's so strange. Like something like this, like these guys are so sweet and cute. Um, but you know, it's part of a performance and it's the performing arts. And to say that the performing arts aren't important is really foolish because it's a quality of life thing. It's a cultural thing and you know, we need things that are different than waking up and going to bed every day. We need that.